right, good morning, everybody. So now that you have your Naracomi block um, or your cane uh, and you've cut it into little pieces, so I went ahead and cut mine into as many little pieces as I could. Uh, and I've decided that I'm going to add mine to a bowl. So I like adding it to a bowl or it could be a vase. Um, just because then you have something to push against there's all kinds of different techniques if you want to find another technique that you find more you know appealing on the internet go for it but um i like i like this one so what i basically did is i went ahead and made myself a molded bowl just like we've done in other videos um, but this time I'm going to take my Naracomi block, my little cane, and I'm going to add in a stripe of this colored clay. Okay. Now, you know, you could, if you only want the design on the outside, um, you could just cut pieces off and stick it on the outside. It's just not going to look as nice and you're not going to get as good of a grade. Um, but like if you make it into something, like if you make them into flowers or something, I don't know, you, you talk to me about it and we'll figure out how to make it look the best that I can because you just spent all this time making this so now we want to make sure that it looks really amazing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a stripe of the Naracomi all the way around the edge now I don't necessarily want to do the very lip because I want my lip to be nice and even on my bowl um, so I'm actually going to inset mine into a lower area. So I'm going to have like a white lip, then my Naracomi block, and then a white rest of the bowl. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to give myself about an inch border. So I'm supporting my tool, uh, by having my finger underneath the, uh, banding wheel. And I made sure that my... Uh, mold was really well centered and I just drew a line that's where I'm gonna cut okay now I'm gonna take one of my Naracomi blocks and I'm gonna set it on there and I'm just gonna look and be like okay so I want to give myself a little bit of space and I'm gonna make a little mark I'm gonna make my mark slightly smaller than what my Naracomi block was and I'm gonna draw another line right there and again, if you can hook your finger underneath the um, the banding wheel, and if you if your hands aren't quite that big, you could do just with the mold. The molds sometimes are just a little; they're not quite as even as the banding wheel. But go ahead and check it. Look, make sure that you're um, you know look and see like does that look like about the right size. I think I actually need to take a little bit more, like I'll need to make my bands a little bit wider. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna add another line right here. So I didn't cut all the way through yet, right? I was just making a line and we're making a line and we're checking it. So that way we can make sure that our line was straight. And so we can check and make sure that our Naracomi block's gonna be in there. Okay, so my, with my new line, my Naracomi block fits right in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to slowly cut through, there we go, back in the appropriate line. I'm gonna slowly cut all the way through my bowl. Now I'm not gonna get rid of this bottom clay. Let's see, since I had a I'm not going to get rid of this lip. I want to keep it. I'm just going to take out the clay that is in between the two lines that I just drew. And notice how I'm not holding my tool straight in and digging into the mold. I am going kind of where it's gliding, right? It's gliding like that. So I cut all the way through that one. Now, it's a good idea to hook your finger. Uh, now I'm going to cut through this one. And you do a little bit at a time. And you go all the way through. And once you've got 
in all the way through, all the way around, and you can feel it. I'm just gonna cut out this center bit. I'm just gonna take out this little center bit and leave a little bit of naked clay or naked mold. Okay, now I'm gonna save that piece just in case, okay? So now neither one of these things really moved because they were still kind of stuck. So now I can take my Narakomi and I can start sticking them in here. Now, if they don't quite fit, they're too big, squish them a little bit. If they're a little too small, squish them a little bit, right? So I'm just gonna take these, and you want them to fit fairly snug, right? Like you don't want it to feel like, you don't want it to be like super loose because then you'll have a weak spot in your pot, but you're just gonna be adding in all your little blocks all the way around. Now, right now, did you notice I didn't slip and score? Oh my gosh, I know it's freaking me out too. But we're gonna be doing a lot of compressing on this. So we're gonna be like really making sure that the sucker's not gonna fall apart. Uh, and if we need to, we can always add in, like I kept some extra of my colored clay specifically around for that purpose. So, okay, so here we go. I'm adding these all in. Now, you don't have to do it in a straight line like this. Like, you could take, like, a bowl and, like, make, like, a curved line and have, like, a stripe that goes around. That would look super fabulous. Um, that would actually be really cool. I was thinking about doing that, too, along with this one but I didn't have a, it depends on how much um, block you have. Like I didn't have enough of my cane to be able to do that in one sitting. And this kind of needs to be done in one sitting. Cause just like your bowl needs to be done in one day, you kind of got to get this done in one day. So you can do like where you um, cut all your pieces the day before and then do this part the second day. That is totally fine. Okay, so I'm almost, oh, I'm getting there. See, you can start to see my stuff. So I'm almost there. I gotta keep adding in. We're getting closer. And like I said, right now, I'm not really doing much other than just setting it in there. Oh my goodness. You know what? I don't even have enough to fill this part. So, oh my gosh, I don't have enough. Right? I'm not gonna sit here and make a whole other block. But what I can do is I saved this piece right here, right? So I can make this part of my design and say like, okay, so here's my little hole, right? So I think I can probably fill that in with one more. So I'm gonna say right here is where my hole is, right? So I'm gonna kinda follow it across and I'm gonna steal one of these, okay? I'm going to be like, I think you, I just took my needle tool and I popped one out and I was like, ha ha ha, you are mine now. So I'm going to follow along. Okay. So I'm going to stick this one over here, right? So now I have small hole and on the very opposite side, small hole. So since I did that, now I can just add some of this white clay back in. Right, and I'm just gonna trim off, and I have plenty, so I don't have to worry about uh, like, oh my gosh, what if it's the wrong size? Like, well, oh, that's okay, because I can just be like, oh, I cut another one, <laughs> you know? But so I just added in a chunk of clay right there, and now I'm gonna do that on this side as well, okay? I'm just gonna add in a chunk of clay, okay? So I've just added in a chunk of the white clay. And since I made it even, it looks like it's supposed to be that way. If you want to, you could even be like, okay, this one's here, this one's here. I'm gonna take one out over here and I'm gonna take one out over here. And you could like, you know, make it so it's like four of them. Uh, I'm just gonna do the two. All right, so now that these are in here, there's still a lot of gaps, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of slowly like push my Narakomi block a little bit flatter so it starts to fill all those gaps, okay? So I'm just kind of pushing on the clay and because there is the, um, 
mold underneath, it is, you know, getting stuck in there, okay? Now, we gotta do a super amazing job of this because we didn't slip and score, right? So we gotta make sure that we are squishing the snot out of this. It's kind of like when you're doing um, coils and you gotta like, cause you're not necessarily scoring every coil and you gotta really, really push and blend the clay really good. So I'm really, really squishing this in here. And I'm just using, ooh, that was making my hand tired. So now I've switched hands, but I'm still doing the same thing. I'm just pushing the clay, really squishing it in here. And if you get a little bit of the color onto the white part, uh, for right now, it really doesn't matter because we can always sand it later or we can scrape it before we're done. So I'm just pushing and I'm pushing. I wish I already had a sample of this, but I don't. So we're just gonna, oh, did I get all the way around it already? Oh yeah, okay. So now that I've gone all the way around once, oh, not it. I'm gonna use a uh, paper because I don't want to rub the design, but I really want to like rub this in there really good. So I'm gonna use a little bit of paper, try not to let it wrinkle. And I'm gonna go around all the way again because I want it to feel nice and smooth. And I don't want to feel the join mark anymore. But if I do this without the paper, I'm gonna be smearing the design like a lot. And then like you won't see the design anymore and then <laughs> and then you got to do like a billion years of sanding and you don't want this to fall apart so here we go i know this part's very exciting huh and if your paper gets too wet just uh get a new piece of paper right mm. use the stuff that you need make it amazing you already spent a billion years doing this make sure it's gonna be amazing when you're done right so I'm really compressing this now this particular technique is not traditional narakomi like the block the making the colored design that is uh, how they do it but um, this particular like inset technique is not necessarily how they do it it's how we do it and by the I just mean, you know, traditional potters who do this the traditional way. This is not necessarily the traditional way, but it works. Okay, let's see. Am I all the way around or? Okay, so now that I've gone like really far all the way around, I really wanna kind of like push the lip up and like kind of push this way just to make sure that it's stuck real good. If, there, if you have any large gaps, you can add in a little extra chunk of clay, but I really wanna try to get this off before I run out of video time. So I would normally spend a little bit more time like fiddling with it, making sure that it's stuck in there really, 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 really well. But you're gonna leave it in here until it feels like a regular molded bowl that's ready to come off, right? And then once it, so mine is a little bit wet still and I need a little bit more compressing, but I've got like a minute left. So I'm gonna take mine off so you can see the big reveal. Okay, so I got mine loose. So now, see how you can see it on the inside and on the outside, right? Doesn't that look amazing? It looks amazing. So have fun with this make amazing things it's gonna look fabulous just try it it's amazing be creative and have fun thanks everybody